Live it, St. Lucia expands its extended stay program. St. Lucia invites visitors to live like a local with new multiple entry for up to one year option. St. Lucia Tourism introduces new option to the extended stay program. St. Lucia is inspiring travelers to immerse themselves in local culture. St. Lucia's Live It program options fit the needs of families, remote workers, millennials and just about every traveler. St. Lucia Tourism Authority has introduced a new option to the extended stay Live It program, in response to travel trends and customer demand. Visitors can now embrace island life in St. Lucia with a multiple entry visa for up to one year. Through both options of the Live It program, St. Lucia is inspiring travelers to immerse themselves in local culture, while exploring the destination's natural beauty on an extended stay vacation or working remotely with ease. Live It, St. Lucia expands its extended stay program. St. Lucia's Live It program was introduced earlier in 2021 for visits up to six weeks. For those seeking the option to make multiple visits of any length, the second phase of the Live It program allows applicants to stay for up to a year with a multiple entry visa at the cost of USD $75. St. Lucia Tourism Authority's Live It program options fit the needs of families, remote workers, millennials and just about every traveler. Visitors can independently plan their own extended visits, or their trip can be curated and customized with dedicated live it specialists that create a bespoke experience to work, play, sleep and eat with the convenience of a dedicated local concierge. While in St. Lucia, visitors can work remotely comfortably and reliably, as free Wi-Fi is offered across the island at hotels, villas, and public venues. Many hotels already offer remote work amenities and special perks that make the work and vacation balance seamless. Applicants can choose from two options for a truly authentic experience. Tailor-made experience, carefully curated by Live at Island specialists, no two visits are alike. The immersive program provides visitors with an off-the-beaten-path itinerary to explore St. Lucia's sites and attractions safely all while living like a local. Working with Live at Island specialists including Barefoot Holidays, Serenity Vacations and Tours and St. James Travel and Tours, visitors can customize their own itinerary to fit their needs and interests. Live it independently, applicants can apply directly to the Immigration Department for a multi-entry visa for up to one year by completing a St. Lucia application form at least two weeks prior to travel date. Applicants will be notified within five days if the application has been approved with a temporary approval letter. The visa fee is payable at the airport upon arrival to St. Lucia, along with a printed copy of the approval letter, to be submitted to a customs officer. There is so much that vacationers can explore on a trip, whether as a couple, solo, with family or as friends traveling together. And with the extended stay program, they have the time to have fun and relax whilst really getting to know the island and its people. Visitors may choose any hotel or villa while taking part in the Live It program. In addition, several hotels offer extended stay programs with perks for families and remote workers. COVID-19 Safety and Protocols St. Lucia has implemented a variety of health and safety measures to protect residents and visitors as part of its phased reopening plan. On May 31, a non-electronic wristband was introduced for fully vaccinated travelers to allow expanded island access. As confidence in travel returns, fully vaccinated travelers now have expanded island access through the wristband. Visitors can book car rentals and dine at more restaurants, all while observing existing on-island protocols. Unvaccinated travelers will receive a bracelet that identifies them as long-stay visitors after 14 days on island. Starting on day 15, they are free to explore the island while observing standard COVID protocols such as physical distancing and wearing a mask in public places.